Hi everybody, this is Debbie from Deb's Thing. Um, today I'm doing a little um, four bar across design and um, I made this a while ago, whoops this is the side, and I actually made these a few months ago and they were sitting around and I wanted to do it for um, this year's um, Bling for Breast Cancer 2015. And so I made this one, kind of like a little bit of a charm bracelet, little hearts. And I remembered a, a, at the little, wait, little grocery store right around the corner. Um, a few, few years ago, I saw these two teen, a teenage couple, later teens, and they were both bald. And they kind of had that, like a goth look to them. I don't know if it was punk or goth, but um, I just, they were so cute together. And I complimented on them on that, and um, the girl was bald because she has she had cancer, and her boyfriend shaved his hair off in his support, and that's always touched me. And I I doubt she had breast cancer because I think she was too young, but you know, cancer's cancer. It's an ugly monster, and it must be eradicated. So. Um, I named it after her. I just so I call her when I think of her, I think of Goth Girl. And so this is, you know, this was done kind of more in gothic colors. But this one I tried to keep the vibe by um, using the crosses. And you know, they like, like to wear a lot of bling. But there are girls who like, and guys who like the goth theme that are dealing with cancer and goth girls that are dealing with breast cancer. So this is my tribute to the goth girl. And I hope somebody enjoys this. I just love it. A little, I love charm bracelets. I used to make them a lot. So anyhow, let's get down to business. It's a pretty simple, it's a pretty easy design. Um, And I do, I do like um, the use of the L, the LE bands, but I'm just going to be using my basic bands. I have a pile of here, so let's just say let's see, this is the one. This is the one I have instructions for, so I'm going to use this one for reference. The A colors, which I use, you can see them. This is what it looks like on this side. Are the um, Persian Peridot 600 account, so they're kind of on the border. So I'm just going to use uh, the pink jelly, the Caribbean or Caribbean pearl are for here, and, and the cap. I'm going to use uh, the navy blue jelly. No, I'm not. I'm going to use the white. <laughs> I'm just going to use white for that. And the third color, which is the chartreuse, going up like this, I'm going to use the navy blue. Okay? So let's get going. We are going to place our closing band here. Oh. And then we're going to take... One of our A colors, place one on each side, take color B and stretch it from here all the way up this angle. So going from the second one in to the second one up and out. Okay, then you're going to take another A color on each side, place it like this. Then take your third color, which I'm using my dark blue, and place it like this. And this is the setup. Okay, this is the initial setup. And after that, the band placement will be as follows. You will start with your B, 
And so you'll do the stretchy diagonal outward. Then you will take your A color up the side. And then the third will be this. Your C color like this. And you'll just keep doing that. I'm just going to do um, maybe half a loom's length. Uh, I think this is how I'm going to be doing my tutorials. It goes a lot quicker. I can sometimes do it in one take. Much quicker editing. Um, yeah, it doesn't take as much time because, you know me, I have so much trouble getting things published and posted that I need to find shortcuts. <laughs> yeah, when, when I get on my YouTube channel and I look, it's like, ugh, like three weeks in between. I, and I look at, at my um, Instagram account and, you know, I, I'll put up a tutorial and post some pictures and uh, I gain a bunch, you know, 20 followers. And then three weeks later, I've lost the 20 followers. So, I think it's because I'm not consistent. Because every time I check my feed, there's always half a dozen or so new followers, but then I'm kind of losing people along the way, too. So, anyhow, okay, this is as far as I'm going to go. This could be my last section. So, now let me look at how I finish it off. I take two border bands, go in like this, and then I take um, two of the B bands, the ones that are stretched out like this, kind of fill this gap in right here, and then pick whatever color you're going to cap. Ah, this is kind of like the, it's a lot of similarities to my Hope Looms, even though it's a lot different doing a lot of the same things. I actually just did the tutorial on this one, so I'm doing these two tutorials back to back. While it's kind of quiet and I've got a couple seconds. Then you are going to put your final cap here. Oops. Okay, spin her around. And then, oops. The first thing we're going to do is take these two straight up. Then you're going to take this A band, which is on top, and you first bring it straight up. Let's see. I need to. Oh. Okay, and then this one. Got them numbered wrong on my little cheat sheet here, so. Okay, now the sequence, that was the setup. Now the sequence will be this one. Going to its home pin. Oops. I don't know what I did wrong, but anyways, let's pretend that was the last one of the sequence. You know what? Me goofed a little bit. Let's do this, okay? This should go first. 
I'm so sorry. And then this, okay? I've got all my num numbering. So all we're doing is pulling this back off. You can just hold it. Lifting this one off. So you do this one first. This one second, okay? Now, the rest of it I've got figured out. <laughs> we are going to do one. three okay and on this side it's one two three and you can go up one side and then up the other because they don't you know inter you know they don't interact with each other because they cap in the middle. So you get one, two, three, one, and a two, and a three, and then one more. One, a two, and a three. And then you just bring this up to here. And I promise I won't count on this side. I'll just be quiet. Count in my head. So it's a pretty easy design. It took me a while to figure it how I wanted to go with it, but I like it. And my sample on oh, this one right here, I just love these colors. I think they're so pretty together. So they are so contrasty and like uh, they clash so much that they, it looks. I like the way it looks. And this one. I used those really cool Spiral Galaxy, and what color was this? Oh, I think it's it's I think it's either the glow in the dark yellow or the one of the solar colors, and then white. I, I think it's very interesting color combinations. Okay, now we're ready. Hold on a second. Okay. Got my clip in my mouth. <laughs> and I'm going to take it off the loom. This one comes off really easily. Actually, in this one, right? Yeah, this is the the top is the design because the other underside is kind of messy. I mean, I guess if you straightened it out, it'd be cute. But um, I've chosen to use the, you know, instead of flipping it over like most people use that side for the um, front of the design, I'm using this side. So there you have it, Goth Girl. I really I really love how this looks with the black. A little bit of purple and then the, the silver. I just think it turned out so cool. And here's the other ones. Thank you so much for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe to my Devastine channel. And be sure to check me out on Instagram and give me a follow if you'd like. Thanks so much.